Um, hi guys, I'm Darius and I'm going to make a couple of presentations. The first one is kind of a high level view of the saving restore feature. And uh, the second one is what I've been actually working on in the past, in the last year. Um, so the save and restore feature, uh, generically called the snapshot feature, uh, uses um, the disk to save the state of a virtual machine that will be later restored to continue working from uh, where it was left off. So if you run Beehive with certain options and uh, and the VM name, you will get the Beehive guest running at uh, normal speed with uh, everything you are expecting. At some point, you want to create a snapshot. Uh, to do that, you use the Beehive control uh, utility uh, with a minus minus suspend um, option. And uh, this will communicate with the main Beehive thread, uh, with a separate Beehive thread in the main program uh, using the Unix uh, the Unix socket uh, to receive the command. This will uh, cause the Beehive to stop the virtual machine and uh, start saving the disk, uh, the state of the virtual machine to the disk. And by that I mean it first saves the state of the entire guest memory, uh, literally copying it using memcopy. Uh, the state of the emulated devices, uh, that's uh, the state of uh, any device that's in user space by in uh, Beehive and uh, the, uh, in the kernel structures. Um, using this, this state, the Beehive guest must be restored. To do this, we run another uh, virtual machine instance using the same options we used before but uh, using the additional minus R uh, with the name of the state file uh, when running the virtual machine. This will create a new virtual machine and using the state saved on the disk, we'll try to replenish all the state of every device in order to make the virtual machine continue running from uh, where it was uh, left off. And in the end, you should be able to get the initial state of the guest. In uh, some generic code, this would be locking all the CPUs to not allow the guest to continue running to create any changes to the state of the devices. Uh, save the memory. <coughs> the state of the emulated devices and the kernel structures and uh, save some metadata that we use to identify where each block of uh, a de each device's block states are saved on the disk in the data files and uh, resume the running of the guest and when uh, suspending destroy the virtual machine because that means that when the virtual machine is suspended, you don't want it to continue running. Mm -hmm. This is the current state we are having. Uh, ultimately, we want to get to checkpointing, and that means removing the destroyed virtual machine part as a mandatory. Uh, unfortunately, we do not have this because the state of the disk does not allow us. Uh, Beehive only uses raw disks, so um, when Allow, if allowing the guest to continue running, the state of the disk will be changed from when the checkpoint was created. So um, if you do that, all of the saved data will be irrelevant. And the guest will continue in a corrupted state. The emulated devices are any devices that uh, are either para-virtualized, like the virtual devices, network or uh, block devices, the U1000 device, uh, AHCI uh, with any of its uh, alternative names, HCI, HCD, and HCI HD, 
the console LPC and the UART. Um, any, input, in, any input devices such as uh, ATK BDC, a XHCI, and uh, the USB mouse, and uh, the frame buffer of uh, uh, UFP guest. The kernel devices, <coughs> uh, we want to save the state of all the devices that are used by the guest. And by this we mean the state of the CPU, uh, the VMX and VMCP for Intel systems, or SVM, VMCS for, uh, these are switch actually, uh, for AMD, uh, VHPET uh, for um, programmable yeah, event timer, um, VLA, uh, VLA peak and the VIO peak for uh, interrupts, VRTC, although it is not uh, widely used by the modern operating systems as far as I know. Linux only probes it around 30 seconds, so it's not very commonly used. The time step counter, uh, which is a CPU specific register, and the uh, VATPIT, uh, VATPIG, VPM, TMR, sorry. Um, and uh, all the other device uh, states. Um, I don't want to concentrate a lot about all of them because I've mostly con uh, worked on VHPET, TSC, and the state of the CPU. And as far as I know, those are the ones that critically impact the stability of the system. Uh, we currently have the Ticket open for a um, review at uh, reviews.ppsd.org slash diff uh, 19,495 and uh, we really need your feedback. Um, <coughs> there are quite a lot of uh, issues that uh, need addressing, among which there is sometimes uh, issue with the deadlock it, was sim it seems to be a deadlock when uh, restoring the block device. I couldn't quite figure why. Uh, for Linux guests, the guest will get stuck around one in five runs. And, that, and I couldn't quite pinpoint uh, where the issue is. And uh, there are quite a few changes that must be done. For instance, we only support one instance of each emulated device. You cannot have more than one HCI, for example, device emulated. <laughs> uh, we really need your feedback on this. 